This trike is actually quite handy. So the Green Speed Magnum has been our go-to hand cycle for setting up uh, hand cyclists who want a general use trike, something you can ride along bike paths and uh, just general riding rather than necessarily racing or performance riding. It gave excellent manoeuvrability as well as uh, good transfer ability and lots of adjustment. Uh, it was, however, a little limited in its ability to fit up an electric assist uh, options given that uh, you pretty much have to have either a rear wheel or the Bafang up on the uh, up on the crank set. Greenspeed have recently decided to take a high end just building the, the Magnum hand which meant we needed to look for an alternative for this customer. Moving into a custom build for this customer we decided to actually address a few of the other concerns uh, that we've had about uh, Magnum. Not necessarily concerns rather than actually I should say just uh, things that we thought we could just do a little better in, in in setting up for them. Uh, our dealers have often played with putting motors in all sorts of um, interesting configurations, generally centered around getting uh, access to uh, initial torque to get the bike rolling, which is, can be the difficult thing for a hand cyclist if you're in the wrong gear. We also wanted to address uh, just some of the controls. We wanted to be able to have uh, hands on the pedals at all times and still be able to access the brakes and actually a throttle also to again help with that initial start. So a few little nips and tucks we decided to build this custom built uh, Magnum-esque uh, tri-slate hand cycle. Just take you through some of the things, some of the features that it's got on it. As you can see again just following some of the things that our dealers have been doing we've made the Bafang electric assist in the back of the machine I've actually made a frame fixture this time to actually hang onto it uh, more specifically. And it's actually running directly into an Enviolo automatic drive hub. This means that the hub actually tracks the, the cadence of the rider and actually keeps their cadence constant no matter how fast the bike is going. A uh, really nice feature for a hand cyclist because you're not actually scurrying for the gear lever while trying to pedal at the same time. You can just keep on pedaling. We kept the green speed seat, a bit of a known quantity. We know that that we, lots of adjustment, lots of angles and heights. Uh, given we won't actually meet the client on handover of this bike, we thought that was important. It means that we can actually uh, be sure that they'll actually get the bike to fit them without uh, too much fuss or bother. Uh, simple hand, uh, foot strap, sorry, uh, down up front with um, a telescoping boom uh, to adjust so that they can get their heels on the front bar and uh, actually support it underneath those straps. Made the uh, boom a tad higher than on the Magnum, so that the straps could be a little, um, a little uh, longer, so that your foot sits deeper in them and a bit more secure. Uh, moved on to cable operated disc brakes. Um, just get a better angle, and uh, one sixty millimeter rotors. Again, lots of power there, so that um, if you're actually only grabbing one brake, you've still got lots of power to stop without any troubles. Moving into the cockpit, you'll see the way we've got the brake levers and also the hand throttle uh, on the lever here, uh, which means the rider doesn't actually need to leave the hands, leave the pedals at any time to actually control the bike. I can just get this. You can see the way you can move the steering and grab the brake lever at the same time. Just turn on the system. You can see the electric assist there uh, with amounts of assistance, etc. Uh, this is the Enviolo uh, adjustment. It enables you to just go more or less in the cadence just to dial it into your preference. Uh, big Apple tyres, but being 20 inch, you can fit a good range of other tyres to, to suit your needs. Big Apple is a pretty good all rounder for path riding and, and, and road riding. Uh, 15 amp hour battery this time, but you could obviously go a lot bigger. We've actually made 
purpose-built rail there. 15 amp hours should be good for um, you know, a few hours of riding like most people would like to see. While most hand cyclists can transfer in here off the side with their chair or if they're uh, able to use their legs to sort of wiggle into the seat, uh, the option to fold the pedal boom forward is possible using a folding linkage here. I'm just going to try to do this one handed, which is a bit awkward. It's not too bad. So there you can see when the linkage folded forward, it gives you complete access. If the rider has a locked knee or limited movement of um, the lower limbs, this could be really useful for climbing in and out of the bike. As you can see, you can kind of wheel a chair into the side or indeed step over it if you can, if you can use your legs. So there you go, just a quick look at this build. Uh, this has been very inspiring for us. I don't think we'll stay stagnant. The next hand cycle build will take this further and actually develop the idea a bit further. Uh, hand cycling is moving more into, I guess, the off-road and adaptive space. And uh, we're keen to go on that journey and see if we can create something which is more off-road capable in the process of actually improving economics even, ergonomics rather, even further. If you like this build, you probably like some of the other stuff we've done, so like and subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about us, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers!